Hi, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Are you ready for today's video? What I'm going to show you today. For my last few videos, I was using 2021 Spring New Release. They are a brand new stamp set and a matching die set. They are going to be available by the end of this month. I have one more video to show you how to use those brand new A stamp set and A matching die set to create a card project. Have you got your favorite set yet? If you haven't, make sure you click the link below and you can um, see all the A brand new stamp set and matching die set. And after the next video, I uh, we are going to start our promotion soon. Make sure you subscribe to Local Kings YouTube channel because I do offer special discount for our YouTube viewers only. Only. So let's just start today's video. Okay, so it looks like everybody liked the idea for the Zoom playing. I was mentioning in my last video, I want to share with you the best way to color the shadow stamp. So I'm working on the, the, the detail and once when I have the date, I will send the email out and will, um, I will provide all the information. And if you like to join us, that will be great. So how it works is that you are going to have a one stamp set um, any kind of stamp, like a shadow stamp. And then um, if you have a local king's rubber stamp, that will be even better. So just use the one of the local king's shadow stamp and we are going to play together. And I'm going to share with you how I color my shadow stamp. What's the best way to get the, the result? If you have a local king's shadow stamp, I can guarantee you after you watch this video, after you join with uh, um, um, the playtime with me, you will become expert of coloring the shadow stand. So stay tuned, I will have uh, more information out once when I have the day and uh, all the detail. And I um, I hope you can join us on the Zoom and then we can have fun together. Okay, so that's the start today's video. Okay, so today's video, I am going to use this relaxing summer eve uh, matching die set. Like I said, I've been mentioning in 2021's the new spring release, all the die cut is going to have a double die. So like this die set, regular, regularly this time you only get a 5 die cut, but this time you get a 10. You get an outline die, you also get a detail die, and you can do a lot of things uh, with this stamp set. I think summer is coming soon, this one will be the perfect um, set to make all the car you can invite your friend for um, outdoor barbecue and hoping we can all go back to our regular life. I think you can also use this set to make a retirement car, any kind of car. Mm, I think it will work just fine. Okay, so that's my sample car. Okay, so here is the sample car that I create. This uh, um, I'm going to show you the different way to color it because at least this is not a shadow stamp, it's actually the detail stamp. Okay, so that's the sample card, and then I have a five die, right? And I use all five die. And the little lantern, the, actually the door, you can swing open. We have a pillow, we have a long chair, we have this bucket. And then for my next uh, um, new design, I probably will add some flowers. And uh, um, if you have any kitty or doggies uh, stamp, you can put on the these chairs too. So I think it's a perfect set. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something today because every video that I create, I promise you guys, I always share some um, interesting stamping technique, something fast and easy. So I um, was at a shop, uh, dollar store and I found out this beautiful pattern paper. They are like this. Okay, so it's actually quite nice. They have a 15 sheets, good work sh uh, sheet. And I got it from dollar store, it's only dollar fifty and uh, it's Canadian dollar. So they are actually like the stickers. And I just found out it looks uh, pretty nice. You can have uh, this blue color, this uh, lemonade floor color. Well but they do have a repeat this one. So I think they have a one, two they only have a four patterns and one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, four patterns. And I think that's really pretty for the background. They also, they are the stickers, right? And then, so I think it, oh, sorry, they actually have a more. So I think, do they have a more? Ooh, actually, they have a more. So I think they have a five pattern and each pattern have three sheets and then they are like a sticker. And then 
if you are in Canada, you have a dollar Rama close to you. I think uh, it's only dollar fifty, and definitely we have a lot of use for this uh, wood look sheet, and the sticker is perfect. And I know what you're going to ask me. Say Lisa, we don't have a dollar Rama, and we can't find uh, those uh, wood uh, look sheet. What are we gonna do? Yeah, what are we gonna do? What are you going to do? What I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to show you how you can create your own, okay? Ready? Ta-da! This is uh, what I'm going to share with you by using the one of my um, sling line stamp. It's called the wood ear. You don't have to use exactly the same thing. I just found out this is a wood ear and I kind of want to create a wood panel. This is kind of like a, the panel, right? So there's also, um, I have a stamp called Crackle bark brick they all can create uh, this kind of finish so do you like the stamp image or you like these the uh, ready wood look sticker which one you like the best ah it doesn't matter okay so i'm going to show you how to create that one is actually very easy and then you also today i'm going to show you different way to color the stamp by using our markers okay so I already pre-cut my die-cut image. Mm, somebody is missing. Oh, the lantern is missing. Where is my lantern go? I'm going to find my lantern here. Okay, so this is different with the shadow stamp. See, because the shadow stamp, the outline is white. And uh, the detail stamp outline is black. So when you have an outline is uh, black, you're going to stamp first because they have an open area. We have to color them, right? So this is just uh, my hobby. I like to stamp die cut first and then do the coloring because the coloring takes time. And sometimes after you spend uh, like a uh, time to color your stamp image, and then when you do the die cut, you didn't pay attention, they are uh, off a little bit. All your hardworking um, coloring is uh, go down to the drain. So what I prefer is I like to die cut first and then I guarantee after I have perfect die cut and then I do the coloring, I don't have to worry about if oops happen, right? So this is what I do is I just use this, uh, my new favorite impact is a very certified Clara and then it's also impact. It's a pigment, it's, a what, uh, you, uh, it's perfect for um, water coloring and then they dry pretty fast. I like a very fine too, but uh, they just dry a little bit too slow. So I already um, stamped it and then I'm just using this regular car stock. It's 110 pound recollection by My Michaels. Even this one is the uh, recollection from Michaels. I just uh, find out this is a perfect, uh, perfect uh, um, car stock. It's uh, cheap and it's uh, thick and uh, good quality. You can, you can even do like light coloring too. If you like, you can use a glossy paper so um, it ends up to finish like this kind of shiny finish looking. Okay, so if you like it like shiny, in fact, after you finish coloring, you can always put the packing tape on top. It's kind of, it's kind of like you are coating with a glossy um, paint too. So be creative and uh, just have fun. Let me go find my lantern first. I don't know where it is my... Okay, so that uh, show you how to create this uh, wood panel. Like I say, if this is a, you have a sticker, they actually also need a sticker. You can remove the backing and then you can just tape on your main card. But uh, if you don't have a Dollarama close to you or they don't carry this product, we're going to make our own. You are going to need... You are going to need a school body or school power and uh, I have my regular car stock here. This is just a 110 pound recollection from Michaels. And then you are going to do a scrolling line first before you stamp the image. I'm going to explain to you why. So every half inches, we are going to draw a line. So I'm going to just uh, five line. One, two, three, four, five, five, I think, yeah. So every half inches, you are going to just use your score pile in the drawing a score line. You can see, right? If you don't have a score pile, um, how you're going to do is you can get a, a stylus or you can have a, some kind of poking tool. Just a, 
try to draw in the line. You got to have those kind of scrolling line to be able to create those kind of panel finish. Okay. And then now we're going to grab my stamp. So I'm going to grab uh, my wood grain stamp. Okay. So here's my wood grain stamp and I was kind of stamping, but I don't, I'm going to try to avoid these. It doesn't matter. They all looks good too. So I'm going to use my black ink pack. I'm going to ink my background stamp. So I'm going to just uh, give a nice tapping. Make sure everywhere is nice and ink. You can do the dark brown too, any color you like. Okay, so here is the, our card. You remember I'm doing the scrolling and we're going to do the face down. I'm going to just use that corner, put that here. And I'm going to grab a piece of regular cardstock. So that way I don't make my hand dirty. Let's do this. Rub, rub, rub. Make sure I rub everywhere. Enough of massage. Okay, I'm going to grab my car back. See, because I did that scoring line first, right? And when I stamped the in um when I stamped the wood ear background stamp, those the scoring line because it is go ink. They don't pick up the um they don't pick up the black ink. If I didn't do that, let me grab a piece of cardstock to show you. If I don't do that. What's it look like? You won't um you won't be able to create that kind of wood panel. It will work. It's just a, the small detail. That's the trick if you want to create those uh, panel. Okay. See? Oop. That's a different. The one you did the scrolling line. The scrolling line is white, but this one, if you like it now, you want to do the scrolling line, mm, the white is not going to show that much. Okay, so you're going to do the scrolling line first, and then you are going to do the coloring. Okay, so that's the difference. Scrolling line first, that's what it looks like. This is the, you want to do scrolling line later, you can do that too, but those are white gap is not going to show well and i forgot to mention you actually this die card have a 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's six die card and the six um plus outline so it's a 12 die card in this uh, relaxed summer eve okay and then here is the wood grain uh wood ear the uh, sling line background stamp okay so now we're going to do the coloring and uh, we have a uh, this is sticker you can kind of give your idea like a wood color or you can do any color um, you like so what i'm do going to do is i'm going to just create some kind of wood color so i'm going to create the first and then to see like at least one my wood color right ah uh, the chair is still looking good maybe i should use a yellow color which uh yellow color for my long chairs that's working on the de uh, the background first. So you just use the kind of three die based uh, ink pack. Okay, this is a Memento's ink pack. Any die based ink pack will work just fine. So I am going to just grab my brown magic mushroom and I'm going to just clean it because I was using the brown for the darker color too. Just kind of clean the wet with a wet cloth a little bit rubbing the surface and then use a dry cloth to kind of absorb all the moisture from your magic mushroom and then they are ready to go with the lighter color. So I just use these the peanut brito, britos first, color number six uh, 802. And then I kind of just gently, oh, I think my mushroom is still a little bit too much pottering, potter clay color. So that's just absorb a little bit more when they are completely dry and then now we can do that color or maybe that's the color okay so kind of just rubbing a little bit color on top and don't even bother change your sponge oh yeah it is that it is that color because it is a potter's clay is more like a reddish color 
Okay, and then I'll just do these the uh, rich cocoa. Okay, just uh, rubbing the like gently rubbing it. Okay, that's good enough. And then in the end, I am going to just find out this kind of light blue there, right? So I'm going to just use my blue magic mushroom, kind of give a little bit blue. Just make it interesting. Voila! That's uh, my wood panel that I just create. And I also have a great idea. I think. You know what? That's just a uh, try it. Sometime I want to kind of create. That's just a grab. Uh, that was the, that piece of car we just stamped it. How come I can't find it? Oh, here, here, here. Okay. So that was uh, the piece that we was uh, I was showing you. Bef if you didn't do the scrolling line, what's it look like that? So what I'm gonna do is. I have no idea. That's just the color first. And then I want to die cut that launcher to see what it look like. Okay, so that's just to give it a little bit color on top to create some kind of wood finish uh, color. And a uh, little bit blue. I don't know, maybe it's too busy, but since this video is very, this video is, oops, is very easy, so that's just a give a try to see what uh, this chair look like. And uh, see, I um, use the guiding window. Once when I create a guiding window, I always put my guiding window there, and then I can use again and get it again. So, um, do I need it? That's just do it without the. Uh, um, outline image see what it look like okay so this is after I die cut it I don't really see the shape of that chair so that's uh, that's uh, add the uh, outline to see what it look like and since I'm too lazy this is the way I'm cheating I die cut first okay and then I am going to just uh, put the uh, piece of double side tape I'm going to just uh, holding my die cut here I'm going to just try to do the like the lazy way I just want to see that wood grain background will work or not oh what we can do is we can um, do the black background and that wood grain we just do very 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 light color let's see if it work this is just experiment, so let's see if it work or not. You never know, right? So got to try and what's in hurry. No, I don't think so. Well, how do you think? You like it? I think if I use a little bit lighter wood grain, I think that will work well. You know what? Let's just try it. But I think it's kind of unique, but I think it doesn't really show the shape of that chair. Let's do one more time to see um, if I use a light color for the wood. wood. Okay, so I have a Liada die cut and then I, I did the, I did the um, stamp the outline. And I'm going to just use one light color to see what it uh, look like if I can get those nice wood grain colors. But I'm not sure this color is good. Let me see. Yep, it should be fine. Okay, so let's do this one. Want to take a guess? It's going to look. So I just use a piece of scrap paper, and I'm going to use the, the wood grain here. How do you think? Is it going to work or not? So now you can da 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 da. -da. Well, I think that's uh, pretty cool, right? You can see there's a kind of wood grain. And then if we want to, we can use this uh, potter clay just to give a little bit color. I think that looks uh, kind of interesting, right? So you can do the double dye. You can create some kind of wood. And you can do like a embossing make a more 3d if you like so it definitely work 
we just clean this one and we are going to working on the coloring let's choose the what's the favorite color so this is my wood grain panel so you can i think that looks just uh, perfect i'm gonna just uh, tape it okay and this just uh, so easy okay see this one i think it is too much we cannot see or chair first this one i think it will do well but uh, i kind of want to have a different color for my chair so i have a chair here i have a here i'm going to show you how we're going to call it i actually kind of want to have a yellow chair i think yellow chair or blue chair they all work so i am going to oh the green chair i think yellow chair will work well so i have my yellow here and um, just a little bit yellow and a little bit brown will do and uh, my yellow and then i'm going to show you how did i color the rest of it i usually just use the the magic mushroom give them the foundation color because that's the most fastest way to color them and then after i give them the foundation i am going to use a marker to give a little touch out i show you how so that's a start with the oh, that's it get a, a little bit more yellow yellow color okay and then i'm going to just uh, clean my magic mushroom kind of just uh, squeeze squeeze a little bit and then absorb all the ink if you clean your magic mushroom well, you should be able to get this yellow color. So that's just make sure I absorb all my mushroom color. Pretty good. Okay, now let's do the yellow again. This is a cantaloupe, it's not a really yellow. So there you go. See, I don't have a problem to use my magic mushroom, go back to do that yellow color at all. So I'm going to just use the yellow color kind of color all that's my yellow okay and then we can use this yellow give a little bit shading like i say if you want to get back your bright yellow just uh, squeeze squeeze with the, the wet cloth and then before you use it you got to use your dry cloth to absorb as much as you can and then you are able to get uh, that very, very light color. Okay, I want my chair, see? The yellow looks good, right? Good, but not good enough. So what I'm going to do is I usually use the, the magic mushroom for my foundation color. And then I will use my markers to add a little bit extra. Okay. So I'm going to grab yellow and then kind of just give a little bit highlight, like some part. Okay, give a little bit sh shading. Or you can just, uh, so I give a little bit yellow shading. And I'm going to use uh, this ochre color in the back. Okay. So this one is actually a little bit too dark. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just grab a acrylic block, a little bit water here. I'm going to turn to my marker into a watercolor. So I'm going to just grab a piece of paper. You can see better. I'm going to just put it under here so you can see. So I just use my marker there and I'm going to just use the the paintbrush okay see better here okay just pick a little bit color and then i can just uh, using this one as a watercolor just give you a little bit shading here okay i have a watercolor but i'm just too lazy to go bring everything out so i kind of just use uh, my marker as a watercolor so that's my yellow long chair and uh, for the my lantern easy i'm just using i don't even bother to clean my magic mushroom i was kind of using the black so gray color so i kind of just uh, 
using that gray color and then add a little bit blue color just give it a little bit color on top and see those kind of steel color and then the door is kind of swing open look how detailed this die is so i have a two and then the bucket the bucket what color is the bucket Ooh, get a little bit dirty okay the bucket we're going to just use a leftover color on my mushroom and then use this uh, color just to give it that bucket color okay like this we can give a little bit blue too kind of just to give a little bit wrapping this is the most the fastest way okay so now because my chair is like that color my pillow i am going to do the red but uh, don't just do like a red red we're going to do the orange first mm, i have a flower there i'm going to do the, the on the pillow there's a little flower i'm going to give a little bit purple color first okay and then I'm going to just use the orange color first. And then I'm going to do the red. See how easy the way coloring. And then see, I'm going to, I'm working on that zone online teaching lesson. So I hope you guys can join me and bring your stamp out. And then if you have any question, just uh, show me the card and then I will do my best to help you to solve the issue. See, now I have my pillow. I think that go very well to my uh, yellow long chair. And uh, let's see the blue bucket and then I have a flower here. I'm going to just uh, color the flower. So I think at least time my flower, I'm going to have a blue flower. So kind of using different color and i'm going to show you i already showed in my last video if you missed it i'm going to show you one of my other great tools that i found at the dollar store okay and also work well so i'm going to just fast forward it oh you know what that's just to do it i'm going to color this flower um this picture so i have a yellow i'm going to color that picture blue okay so just make a looks interesting i just need a little bit so i put a little bit blue a little bit purple here and i have my paintbrush here okay so those markers are awesome because uh, you can mix see i have at least a blue color right and then I mix with a little bit purple okay and then this is uh, my picture. I used to, I used to teach before I start the uh, local cooking rubber stand. I used to teach the student. Um, my student was from four years old to seventy, I think. But the most of the student is that they want to apply the university or college in art major. So, and I um, teach, I, I, I help them to prepare their portfolio. Okay, so I am going to have my flower pink. So I'm going to, you can just color directly on top. So just color some pink flowers. Okay. And then I am having a little bit darker pink. Just blending a little bit. So, and I'm going to leave a little bit for the, oh, you can mix it with a little bit purple too. Okay. And then I am going to have a little bit green, or we can just call it the, oh, this green is too dark. I'm going to have a light green. There you go. So that's my flower in the pot. Very, very nice. So that flower is a daisy. And then this is a red color. Yep, so I used to teach uh, from four years old to the 70 years old people for fun. And uh, I 
was doing that for probably 1994. I did that probably 10 years. Yeah. Okay, so if we want to, can give a little bit. And then my candle here, I'm just give a little bit blue on the bottom and uh, for the frame, yellow and the orange. So you can use those markers for the coloring. Even though their tip is not uh, like a, is a kind of big, it's hard to do that, right? But that's okay. So like a white candle, we just uh, give it a little bit blue shading. Okay. So that's my candle here. Let's do this one. Let's bring everything here. And then I think my bucket. I think that's good enough. I don't want to get too dark. If it's too dark, it will not show in front of that wooden panel. Okay, and then let me clean my table first. And I have a one more awesome trick to share with you. But before we do that, I'm going to just kind of give it a little bit orange color. Or oh, it's the Potter. Potter. Harry Potter. Okay, so let's do that. And then see this design, when I was designing this part, later if you have some flowers, you can actually shuffle your um, flower in. I actually have a stamp set, it's called, it's called a succulent. And then you can actually rearrange your succulent to make a, like a flower pot. So I think that's you need to. And then for my future design, I'm definitely design something that we can put inside the pot. So I kind of just using this uh, potter color, kind of give it a little bit touch around the border to make it uh, looks more 3D. But see, this is a one, two, three, six cut. But it doesn't take me too long to do that, right? Because I really don't like to spend a lot of time to working on the detail. Okay, I have all my patio furniture here ready. And this one, do I want to use it? You can use it to create a 3D. Now I'm going to use it. Just save it, that one and give it to my sister-in-law later. Okay, and then we are going to mount it. Um, I'm going to just fast forward to mount it. And Okay, so I have uh, all my patio furniture here already. I want to share something with you. So I'm going to put uh, my chair first. I'm going to just put a little bit lower here. And then the pillow. Look, the pillow. So cute, the pillow here. I have a, a stamp set. They have a, a little kitty. You can put your kitty here, relax. And uh, my barrel here, put a little bit low here. And then for the, the light, we can um, hang in here. Actually, I'm going to hang in there with a, a rope. Okay, I'm going to just uh, hang in here, I think. Okay, and then I'm going to put uh, my lantern, uh, my candle inside. So kind of just uh, swing this part open. And I have my little candle here. Kind of just use a tweezer to kind of put the inside. It will fit. Is that cute? Okay, and my flower pot. I want to share with you, see the flower pot in the back? Okay, here is one more piece I have to do the away. You see, here is some kind of pre-cut, right? What's that? That one you can just poking out. You can make it like a 3D. And I'm going to just put my cut here. Okay, and then I am going to stamping this word, time for a good day. I think that will be perfect there. So I'm going to do that. This is just a cheap clear um, stamp. I found it, doll, uh, not dollar store, found the Michaels. Uh, that's the only clear stamp I will use is the sentiment. Okay. So if here I can put a little bit of rope there, hanging there. Okay, so I did the uh, Put some twine here, make it look like it's a hanging uh, lantern over there. So which one you like the best? You like the one with the dollar store wood stickers or you like the wood year that we create by ourselves? 
So later on, we can put this on uh, those kind of three dimensional glue. But I want to share with you something else that I found at the uh, dollar store. It actually worked well. I actually want to give a little bit highlighting. Okay. For example, like uh, the flower. See, you can see under those chair, there's a one, some kind of screw, screw like a mark. I just use the white jelly pen to touch out like this lantern there's some kind of lighting highlight like this barrel there's some kind of white dot right so if you have a one of this uh, gel pen that's awesome you can just use that one you know just give a little bit highlighted okay so just like that if you don't have it this is a great replacement is uh, the white out the only thing is you got to have to make sure that's the pink tip exactly the paint but the price is much cheaper and this you can last for a long time and i just use this white out to kind of highlighting my chair they work well on the darker color so what else did I can hear? I want to give a little bit highlighted. And then on my pillow, I want to give a little bit highlighted. And then this one, I want to give a little bit highlighted. So these are white, right out, white out. It will work just uh, perfect to give that some touch out my daisy flower here here a little bit just give some lighting see you put that lighting it really make them much 3d and i um in my previous video i also i was showing with you how we can wiring so i think this car if we change to the nice thing we can Make it darker, oh, which is a great idea. Maybe I should have a nighttime view. I'm going to definitely working a late later. I'm going to create the other project by um nighttime view, and uh, maybe we should put a, a light bulb here. Make at least the lantern can be on and off. I think that will be awesome, right? So which one you like the better, the red chair or the yellow chair? The layout. I just want to give you an idea, rubber stamp, you can use the uh, same stamp set, create the too many different kind of project and the, the car project and I think the process is the best part, right? Okay, so that's today's video. I have a one more last uh, 2021 spring new release that I have to create a video to share with you how to use it. Um, I already did the six, one of the set is two together. So check it out and uh, if you are interested to pur purchase some stamps that are working on your shopping list and I will have that special promotion running soon and uh, I think it should be by the end of this uh, month and uh, I will provide that special coupon code for our viewers. And uh, remember when I provide that code and you got to use that code when you place the order and then um, I won't be able to honor that if you provide that code later. So you got to follow up this uh, YouTube video to get the, the best discount. And for that Zoom uh, play time, I will definitely work on the detail and I will get back to you guys soon. So thank you so much for watching. This is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. See you next time. Bye.